Okay, so I'm Leonardo Rochelle, and this is Cesar Kawakami, also known as Leo and Panda. And um, we're going to talk about a little, uh, some Python traps, things that can bite you in the ankle if you're not paying attention. So this talk requires audience participation, and we need you to be really fast. Uh, we are going to ask you some questions and present some options, and when I say go, you yell the number of the correct answer, okay? So, we start with a little warm-up question. So, suppose you have a list, and then in a loop you create a function that prints a counter. And you store this function into the list. And then you uh, go, and after that you uh, loop through the list and call all the functions. Tell me what do you think is going to happen. Option number one, I'm, uh, it counts in reverse. Option number two, it counts in the direct order. Option three, none of the above. One, two, three, go. You're correct. Uh, what happens is that it prints all number fours. And that's because when you capture a, vari a variable inside a function you create, you're capturing the variable, not the value of the variable. So pay attention next time you try to capture a variable. So what programming language is this code snippet written in? One, it's JavaScript because it's so readable. Number two, it's Python because it's so cute. Number three, I can't understand it, so it's got to be Perl. So one, two, three. You're wrong! It's two in Python, except that you need to put a ROT13 encoding at the top of the file declaration. This name of code prints, hello, Python Brazil. So, next question. Exceptional behavior. Suppose you're writing your testing code, you're testing how your logging system works, so you're going to test a, a logging function that actually raises an exception. And then you try and cause an exception on purpose, and after catching the exception, you try to log it. And, but you ignore the error in the logger because you don't really care about the log. And you want to raise the original exception. Tell me, what do you think is going to happen? Number one, you get the original uh, exception zero division error. Number two, you get the runtime error from the logging function. Number three, no exception is raised. Are you ready? Go. Wrong, it's number two. Uh, what happens is that Python only has a single global variable inside its interpreter, interpreter to store the last uh, exception that happened in a thread, and that's what it raises when you call raise without a, uh, an actual exception. So, next question. How bizarre. Uh, suppose you have a tuple, and inside the tuple you have a list. And then you try to use the in-place uh, assignment addition to extend the list. What do you think is going to happen? One, a type error. Two, the list gets updated. Have you thought about it? Go. And the correct answer is, you're all correct. <laughs> Here's what happened. Uh, you get a type error because you cannot assign to a tuple, but you also get your list extended. <laughs> Why does this happen? It's simple. The in-place operator actually calls the I add uh, function, dunder I add function in your class, uh, and then it assigns the value to the left side of the equal operator, so you do get your list extended and you also get a type error. So, uh, thank you very much. We are Leo and Panda, and we are hiring. Come talk to us, email us at jobs at geeky.com.br if you're interested.